YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at when you should be buying your team, when you should be selling your team, also what you can be investing in this weekend during the Triple Threat promo, also leaks and expected content during the Triple Threat promo starting tomorrow on Friday. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about content today on Thursday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 6% off your order link is in the description down below content today on thursday was pretty straightforward we always know it is marquee matchup day rival rewards and it was pretty much the exact same so marquee matchups let's go take a peek at that real quick we actually had a solid rise on some cards because of this and that was the real madrid versus valencia valencia golds went up a lot they peaked at about 8,000 coins, I believe. I don't know how much they are now. We're going to find out in a second. And they're still really expensive. So if you have any Valencia players, I would check your clubs. We sold ours today on stream. We called it out. I had four in my club. I had like 50 the other day because I was buying 82s for 700 coins listing for 950. And I had so many guys because I was doing left back 82s and uh, I, I could have made so much, but it is what it is. But definitely check your clubs for Valencia players. Um, we were also looking at silvers from Liga Portugal and silvers from the pro league. They went up a little bit, but it was nothing like crazy, ridiculous profit. And that was marquee matchups. The other content we got was a Negredo SBC. He's, he's garbage. Who cares? He cost, I think he only cost like 15K or something like that. But I mean, who cares? It's nothing. Uh, there was another objective as well. I think it's FC Pro. Yeah, FC Pro. I, I don't know what this is. They want you to watch their pro broadcast, but I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, cool, I guess, but I'm not going to watch it. I don't, I, I'm not going to find joy in watching it and I'm not going to spend 90 minutes. You have to watch 90 minutes of the stream, I believe. And you probably have to link your Twitch or whatever to your, it, it's going to be a process. I'm not doing it, but if you want to do it, you get a 50K pack, prime gold player pack, mega pack, and um, all these. So, so what is it? 15 minutes, 60 minutes, win four matches using the kit. I, I, I'm not going to bother with it. So that was content today. Now, let's talk about the market today. I told you guys, 83s peaking Wednesday. What happened? 83s peaked on Wednesday. They went up to like two, eight. 2728 they were chilling around there and i told you guys sell them rival rewards they need to be sold and they are down in price 17 so i hope you listened there hope you sold your 83s but the gold mine that we mentioned was team of the weeks team of the weeks we're going to rise more today on thursday because guess what refresh the 84 plus road to the knockout and oh my god team of the weeks were 20,000 coins yesterday on wednesday like around rival rewards they were 20,000 coins and if we look at them now that's last time i checked they were 27k and they are 20 pretty much 27k still so i wouldn't be surprised if these are a little higher tomorrow friday morning before content drop but once content drops they should just um they should just come down in price i'd say maybe maybe before content drop these are like 27 5 28 maybe but nothing where like we should be investing still just like hey if you still have them lazy list them for maybe 2775 instead of 27k what they're going for so amazing if you bought team of the weeks i mentioned these team of the weeks when they were 11k a few days ago and then again when they were 14 again when they were 13k and again when they were 14k and uh yeah if you guys invested we made so many coins on these team of the weeks one of our viewers julian he <laughs> i'm calling him out here he's gonna watch this video he uh i think it was tuesday when they started to rise a lot he hit relist all when he woke up in the morning at 1275 and he had 100 team of the weeks that sold all of them at 1275 and uh yeah he lost out i don't know what the math is exactly but it's probably like 1.5 mil profit he missed out on so that's probably the biggest l of the week shout out to julian for taking the biggest l of the week hope you enjoy it um yeah so 83 is down team of the week's up fodder going for let's uh you know what let's just let's just go all over fodder now let's get that over with so fodder let's talk about it um a lot of the high rated fodder is kind of it's holding its value pretty well and 
there's a few reasons for that. Tomorrow on Friday, we're getting Mo Salah Player of the Month. We're getting Lataro Martinez Player of the Month. I thought it was Cavaro that was going to win it, but Lataro Martinez won it. So two Player of the Months tomorrow, that's going to be requiring fodder. Also tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, but there's a leak. There is a leak right now for, where is it at? Foot scoreboard. I'll show you what the pack code is. So we obviously have the Road to the Knockout, 84 plus Road to the Knockout SBC. I showed you guys before, there's a Road to the Knockout plus Trailblazer SBC. So that's set to come out at some point. And instead of the 85 plus SBC, there's an 86 plus player pack. Maybe it's an SBC, maybe it's a story pack, but I'm guessing SBC. Uh, but this is what got leaked today. Uh, I believe this was today, November 9th. Yeah, this morning. So base hero player pack and base icon max 89 single player pack. So we're moving on from the max ratings. Uh, I would assume that's this weekend because we went with the hero and then we got the icon. Then we got the hero repeatable twice. And then we got the icon repeatable twice. So I'm assuming this weekend, Sunday, it's always Sunday. The icons heroes, they're always Sunday. I'm going to guess the hero is the first one we get on Sunday and base hero player pack. How much is that going to cost? I would say my guess is around 150,000 coins because the current hero which is, I believe, max 87 has been chilling around 100,000 coins, a little more than that. So I'm guessing this one is going to be around 150K because there's no max rating. Now, fodder. Fodder's holding its value because of that. Fodder's holding its value because of the player of the month as well. Um, am I buying it before content tomorrow on Friday? No, I'm still going to wait for content on Friday. I'll probably more so wait till Saturday to full send the fodder, but that's my take on it just letting you guys know sunday we're probably getting this we're probably going to see fodder do fairly decent and um yeah that's my take on higher rated fodder now the fodder that i like the most is going to be 83s again i mean the fact that it's thursday the sbcs all the sbcs are still out at the moment and tomorrow on friday those sbcs are going to be gone and we're going to be having a ton of pack supply 83s might be coming back down to a thousand coins and uh we're just gonna buy them again. The past two weeks, I told you guys two weeks ago, 83s, 900 coins, they went to 1800 coins. I told you guys 83s this week, buy them for 1000 coins, they went to 2800 coins. And guess what? It looks like they're going right back down to 1000 coins. We're probably gonna buy them again. And it's it's really simple because it, it's so low risk. If they're 1000 coins, the lowest these 83s can go to is 850 coins. That's the lowest they can go to. So, I mean, it's very low risk. And if they don't rise, you can either hold, you can sell for like a tiny loss, or you just wait because at some point, Black Friday is in a few weeks. And Black Friday last year, all 83s went over 2,000 coins. I would expect, obviously it's not guaranteed, but I would expect all 83s later this month to once again go over 2,000 coins. So 83s tomorrow on Friday, I'm watching those all weekend. I'm, I mean... You guys know I always tell you investments and I don't do them myself, but I'm thinking maybe this time I'll finally do it. <laughs> the past two weeks, I've called out so many investments. I haven't done a single one myself. I just haven't taken the time to buy them, but I'm thinking this weekend, I'll take the time, I'll sit down and I'll do it. I'll be joining you guys. Also, team of the weeks. I'm hoping team of the weeks come down in price. Is it going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. If they come back down anywhere close to like 12K, 13K, I'll definitely buy a lot of them. But if it doesn't happen, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna buy them. We'll, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated as the weekend goes on. But I really like these if they get cheap. They need to get cheap though. So team of the week's 83s. Those are probably gonna be the easiest ones to buy this weekend. I'll give you guys other fodder prices tomorrow in friday's video tomorrow friday also i'll be streaming on friday so if you want to come in you have any questions about the prices you can just come in and ask maybe it gets really low at content uh so that's fodder the high fodder if you do have it though you can probably just hold your high fodder and sell it friday before content drop if you want to hold it into content drop you could but i'm not going to be gambling with that personally so that's my take on higher rated fodder the lower rated fodder i mean i've told you it should have been sold you shouldn't really you shouldn't really have any of the low rated fodder. I want to take a peek real quick at gold common 82s. I'm just curious how much they went to the other day. If they went up a lot, mm, nothing crazy. Okay. I was just wondering gold common 82s when the 82s started to rise a little bit, if maybe the gold common ones would have been doing a little bit better, but doesn't seem like that's the case. Uh, 
So, 83s, we talked about those. We talked about fodder. Uh, buying fodder this weekend, it's going to be really easy. I mean, it's it's so easy, guys. You just buy fodder every weekend. You make coins most of the time. Obviously, there's a week or two every now and then where it doesn't work, but almost every week you make so much. It's stupid. Uh, so, fodder. Let's move away from that now. We talked about the icon, the hero leak, our guess on the price. Uh, you know what? Since we talked about our guess on the price, let's talk about what I think the requirements are going to be real quick. So, for the hero, for the icon, they're probably going to be priced fairly similar, maybe the exact same like they've been doing. But if we look, an 87 overall squad is 168,000 coins. I wouldn't be surprised if they just make it one 87 overall squad, or they could do an 86 overall squad and an 83, no, not 83, 86 and 84, because an 86 is around 100k, 84 is 36, 37k. So what do you get? 140,000 coins? somewhere around there. So I'm guessing 86, 84, or just straight up 87. That's what I would think. Um, I say that's, I think that makes sense. Unless they make it the same price as the current ones, but that, I mean, I would expect them to make it a bit more expensive because there's no more max rating. So that's my prediction on the icon and the hero. Um, I want to mention as well, bidding tomorrow on Friday. Guys, tomorrow's a new promo. A lot of packs get open. You will probably be able to get some deals on bids. So watch out for bids. Watch meta players. Watch fodder. If you can get some good deals on 83s, give it a shot. I would try a filter like this. I'd go 850, max price 950, min by now. Say 83s are like 1 2. If they're 1,200 coins, you're going to go min by now 1 2. If 83s are like 1,500 coins, you're going to go min by now 1,500. It's just it's going to depend on what they're going for at the moment but you do something like this and it should pop up with a lot of 83 overall cards because as you can see their start price is 850 so because their start price is 850 they're going to be getting a lot of 83 overall cards popping up and there's going to be so much supply tomorrow on friday i would not be surprised if you can get a lot of deals doing a filter like this and if you're struggling on fodder just pick a different player pick something that's not fodder like meta golds so like you could try to bid on a diaby try to bid on a just think of like low meta players i don't know kimpembe stuff like that bid on those kind of players and it should be as simple as that am i gonna get some 83s on bid i mean heck if i can get you know what i bet there's so many people that are just trying to panic and get rid of their 83s right now that there's so many listings you might actually be able to get some decent deals somebody's home you might be able to get some decent deals on bid so Bids tomorrow. Keep an eye on it. Let me bid on this last page and then we'll move on to the next thing. I want to kind of watch these and see if we do win any of them. And the next topic is, I, I jumped around, so I got to see what we're up next. Let's talk about your team. So if you're buying your team, what are you doing? Am I winning these? What? I'm actually winning these. That's crazy. You guys might want to hop on that filter. I'm going to post that in my VIP discord. Um, when should you be buying your team? When should you be selling your team? So guys, COD is this weekend. OG Fortnite came out, COD's this weekend, and Black Friday's at the end of the month. The market's probably just gonna keep dropping. So what are the times when you can be buying your team to maybe like avoid losing, but still kind of play the game? If you have your team right now, just make sure it's sold before content drop on Friday. And then if you buy your team after con content drop on Friday, you need to make sure your team is sold before content drop on Saturday, like six plus hours before content drop on Saturday, because Saturday, the market does tend to drop a heavy amount. And then Sunday is the market low. That is when you can buy stuff for your team and be pretty safe with it. And you can also buy investments just to make coins. Like if we go look over the weekend, we're not going to see the Friday drop, but Sophia Smith, Saturday, she's chilling, 60,000 coins and content drops at 16. So... If we go six hours before, that's like the perfect spot to be selling. And then they just start dropping, 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 dropping. You don't want to hold stuff going into content drop on Saturday, almost ever. The only stuff that's kind of safe would be like out of pack stuff. Do not hold golds, I should say. Out of pack stuff, you don't need to worry about too much. But golds, you don't, you don't want to mess with that. So that's the trend for buying stuff for your team. The market's going to drop this weekend. It, I know we keep saying like the same thing every weekend, but it's, it's just what's going to happen. This month is just one of those months. And with OG Fortnite back and COD coming, that's just more people going away from FC24. 
not as much demand for cards on the game. They're coming down in price. A lot of people are, are hopping off of FC24. I don't know if you guys watched Run the Foot Market's video, but it explained it fairly well. And this year, I wouldn't be surprised if the game does die fairly early. They need to fix the gameplay. It's it's definitely getting painful. Um, watch this son, by the way. We were watching him on stream down at 620, 630. I was trying to get one closer for, to 620. And um, he went all the way up to 720. So just keep an eye on, on this card. I don't know why he dropped so much. He like crashed a ridiculous amount. So keep an eye on him. It could be because of Mo Salah, but I don't know why Salah would affect him too much. Keep an eye on him if he gets low. He's it, He gets really rare as well. So you can sell him in a fluctuation when he gets rare uh so that's buying your team i want to mention evolutions evolutions got leaked i got to pull this up on twitter we're gonna to go to rick's twitter our boy rick my guy he's another trader highly recommend you follow him he leaked that yeah the ryerson is crazy um where's it at 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 here it is so these are the requirements we are getting a triple threat right back evo it's going to be the free one these are the requirements for it and we talked about this in the previous video that's why players like wamba saka carval it's why a lot of those cards went up in price um like i said if you guys do trade with these cards you got to be very careful uh if you buy a bunch of a card for really cheap and they go extremely high in price like say you bought a bunch of wamba sockets for 700 coins as you can see that's like his price and he goes for this you could get coin wiped you could get banned by ea it's it's just really risky uh that is the right back one one of the players that did really good which rick i think retweeted up there was a promo card which is ryerson so kind of cool there and then looking at the other one this one is 50,000 coins or a thousand fifa points i don't know what it is exactly I don't know the position he doesn't know it either so maybe there is no position but it's 84 max overall pace 83 shooting 83 dribbling 84 defending 65 physical 85 we were looking at some players malcolm looked decent isak looked decent theron torres looked decent and those were the only ones i could think of so those are the evolutions on the way and then let's look at some leaks for the promo real quick and for that, we're going to see, okay, uh, this dude tweets so much random stuff. Ledley King is getting a center back SBC. So uh, be careful. <laughs> be very careful. If you have center backs, there's just more center back SBCs. Tiago Silva crashed the market. Maybe this crashes the market again. Uh, also, James Madison objective. And here are, you know what? Instead of looking at this, I think the, oh gosh, I, this it stinks you can't look this guy's name up i don't know what it is here we go this guy posted it all together so ginola torre coit govu morientes cole king carvajal karchawi madison greedlish gallagher neville greenwood athenia cockeret and kirby this promo is just a male a female and a hero from the same team and i believe same nation as well so is it same nation Maybe it doesn't have to be same nation because Ginola got one and I don't see Prem France. So not too sure on that one, but they are all pretty much same nation. Like we look, it's Madison Spurs English, Neville Spurs English. I don't know. I don't know where these guys played, so I actually can't answer that. Um. So yeah, that is the promo triple threat and i want to mention one more thing before we go and that is olga i did make an investment i'm not super crazy about it i do think she's gonna drop a bit more tonight how much is she right now let's actually take a peek at her price i bought a few olgas for like 13.5 i got a few of them for really low on snipes actually but if i pull her up i just want to see how much she's going for uh the idea behind this is she's a very popular evolution she's real madrid spanish left back the only left back in this promo so far looks like karchawi and she's going to be fairly expensive also um she links to the real madrid ones carb hall is getting a card and the athenia girl's getting a card so 
she links to them. That's, that's just my thought process behind it. I'm hoping she pulls a, what was his name? Dunk out of packs. Dunk went from like 38K to 55K. So maybe she can do that. I will say Dunk, his peak was on like Monday or Sunday, somewhere around there. So it would, it would take a couple days. I wouldn't do this unless you have a lot of coins. I have a bunch of them and I'm just lazy listing at 18.5. I've actually gotten a few sales doing this, but I'm 100% selling these cards like Saturday, maybe Sunday. I'm out of all of them. Loss, win, whatever it is. I'm all in on fodder, hopefully this weekend. But I mean, she's a very popular card. I hope she does good. This could be really stupid, but I had coins and I was like, I just, it's like one of those FOMO things. I had coins and they were sitting there and I got kind of bored. So I did it, which whenever I make trades, when I'm bored, usually doesn't do too good, but maybe this one will because she's an Evo. And what happens when you Evo a card, they get taken off the market and they're untradeable. So it's kind of what we saw with Dunk. He rose out of packs because no more supply, but he kept getting taken off the market for the Evos. So I'm hoping we see that. Um, also, there's no left back evolution. We, we've been talking about that. There's no left back evolution at the moment. So maybe she could fit the left back evolution requirements or like people think she might and she could do really good. I don't know. We'll see. But that's it for this video, guys. Any questions, comment section down below. My trading Discord, Twitch, live stream description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.